Here we're just going to have a quick look at the Kawasaki factory tank and its mountings. So we've used two stainless steel ratchet straps to hold it down. This is the Kawasaki stock fuel pump and uh, level sender. And we've just used a longer, a longer, we've retained the Kawasaki fittings at either end and we've just put in a longer fuel, high pressure EFI fuel hose between the engine and the tank. And then we've just built a aluminium bracket with some rubber padding. See the padding under there to accommodate the size of the tank. So if you're doing any of these jet ski tanks, you can just build an aluminium bracket underneath with suitable rubber padding so it's not going to chafe anywhere and then strap it down really nice and tight and you've got yourself a good tank, you can see the level of the fuel, you're never going to have an issue with bits of aluminium shavings in your tank or cracking with pressure or anything, you just got to make sure that tank's not going to chafe and it's not going to move around and it's securely fastened and we've simply taken the filler out to the rear of the boat, Kawasaki fuel filler doesn't really look that great on an aluminium boat, but it works really well. It never lets any water in. It's a good quality filler. And you want to retain, on a plastic tank, here we've got a one-way valve that just lets air into the tank to replace the fuel that's being sucked out. And that can just be exit somewhere in the engine bay because that one-way valve stops the fuel vapor coming out. Now on an aluminium tank you want another one-way valve that lets pressure out of the tank and that would be vented over the side of the boat but that wouldn't allow water in because it would be a one-way valve out. So the valve one-way valve out should be vented outside the boat and the one-way valve in can be vented inside the boat because it shouldn't let fuel vapors out. The reason you put a one-way valve out on an aluminium tank is so when the tank's sitting in the sun and the pressure inside the tank builds up, you don't have the tank sides bulging out, which over time can lead to cracking in the welds. And on a plastic tank, you can just retain the exact system that was in the jet ski with that one-way valve out. And it's just the main thing you want is you don't want anything moving or chafing. You don't want anywhere it can leak and you want the fuel filler outside the boat, so if you spill fuel it's not going into your engine bay, it's not creating a risk of explosion or fire. You don't want to spill fuel into the river obviously, and you just don't refill in the river ideally, you just refill on the trailer and you don't spill any fuel into the boat, because that's extremely dangerous obviously. You can reuse here for these straps, instead of using these stainless ratchet straps, you can reuse the rubber straps off the jet ski if they're strong enough to hold the tank down securely. Thanks.